Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is the day. Holy cow. Today's the day that... I have a new vest. Gabby has a new vest. Nothing other, nothing else exciting happening today. <laughs> nothing. Is anything else happening exciting today? We're bringing Storm home. Storm is coming home. It's going to be crazy, but he is coming home. Sophie's never down here with us. Today, she beat Gabby and I. Gabby and I are the slow pokes. Hi, Stella. Hi, beautiful girl. How you doing? It's a sunny day and you're about to get a new brother or husband. Please don't fight over boys. No, Mom. What? She hates. I know. Storm hates Stella. I don't understand it. It could have been her dynamics at the time, but it didn't he seem to ever paint. matter. Yeah, he just seems to hate paints. But he loves tech, so that's not it. They're best friends. And yeah. he's a boy. So. Yeah. Yeah, he loves tech, so I don't know. And Stella loves tech. Hey, way to beat us down here today. You hold um, little... Yes, hey, but little Finn creeps on the wall, like, I think two times. Yeah, Finn is... We already established that. We already established that. Finn is a wall pooper, and that's okay. Everybody has their thing, right? He likes walls. Open the door. He oh. likes to keep all the poop. Like, he's a clean, clean Open horse. Open the door all the way. He, just wait, he is a super clean horse, and I love that about him. Like, he poops all around the outside of his stall so that he doesn't have to lay in dirt, and that's amazing. Hi, dude. Yeah, this is his new pooping spot at the door. I don't know if that's his way of saying, ha ha, take that. <laughs> Lock me in there, I'll poop on the wall. Yeah, but he usually just poops along the wall. Yeah, that was you. That was you. No need to smell it. You are about to have a new friend. Yes, you are. So definitely, I think what we're gonna do is put Storm and Finn in the backfield together so that they can eat down all the grass so that the girls can go out there and then we'll have one big, huge, happy family. That's the goal. But you know what? The thing that I love about having your own barn is that you can manage the field. You can manage everything, plan it all out. <laughs> He's like, are you talking about me? Oh, it is a curse being beautiful. I mean, I would not know, <laughs> but it is a curse. Did you say I know? Yeah. He's like, I know, I'm so fun. Yeah. Me and Stella. Girlfriend, boyfriend. Yeah. So, competition for the girls. Um, Willow just wants out. Maybe Storm will come and fall in love with Willow. Because she's the same oh. color as him. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that, that would be, be good? Fun. Yeah.
So this is our bag of twine from the hay. I'm curious, what do you guys use your twine for? There, like we use our knife, we hang up our knife with it. I'm gonna use another piece to tie up some hoof picks like you guys said. Not this one, because it doesn't have a loop. But what do you guys actually use your twine for? Comment below. Okay, so I found two hoof picks and none of them have a hole in them. So somebody else suggested we put a magnet on the wall and stick them to a magnet. So this is the stuff that we gave Storm that slowed him down, calmed him down, and made him go really slow. I'm considering giving this to Willow because it would help to calm her belly. This is the moment. been down at the barn all morning it has taken me forever but i just wanted to organize a bit and now it looks like we have no stuff again so yeah if you want to buy new stuff and it seems like you have too much stuff just clean up then you can buy more stuff anyway i organized over here a little still working on this part of the barn i need to get like sam's stuff out of here but um organized our buckets a bit got all these ready to go for tonight i just forget how much grain the storm gets so i have to check on that and then those will be our four buckets for tonight. Over here is our water section and then our saddle pad section. And then nothing, everything's all cleaned. Our blankets are all hung up. Our buckets are all organized. Um, we have a little spot to sit. Our saddles, um, Storms is gonna go right there. And Sophie's has gone in the trailer to take Finn in. Um, Organized our shelf over here. Organized this. Doesn't look like we have that much stuff now. It was all a mess before. All Gabby's stuff needs to come to this barn. There's also a bunch of stuff in here that I did not organize. And a bunch of stuff that is in the arena that I did not organize. But I'm starving and I'm going to go and have lunch. The girls were cleaning at the trailer today. They got everything ready for Storm to come home. And then, Sophie's got all her stuff, her new girth. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I'm so proud of them. Um, horses are having lunch, and Gabby is trying on a fly, sheet. fly sheet. So last year, this fly sheet was Storms, and don't let him run on me. And oh my gosh, she's wearing purple. I think last year this. I think it's the first time ever having a fly mask. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't run away. Uh, basically, this fly sheet was a little bit too small on Storm. It caused rubs on his on his chest. So we decided to try it on Stella to see if it would look better. She looks very impressed, as you can tell by the ears. <laughs> Does she look impressed? I don't know how that one fits. I feel like it needs to be on a shorter horse, like not as long. See how it's kind of tight right there? Yeah. And then there's... <laughs> He's like, help! <laughs> How to make your horse shake his hand. <laughs> yeah. Take your hand. <laughs> He's like, help me! They've, they've tortured me! Sounds like, what the heck is this? Can you see me? Alright, put a halter on him. So, we would think that Finn's probably never ever worn a, a sheet, a blanket of any, short, of any sort before. Okay. Anything on his face? Put a like, halter on Finn. So that we can put that on him. But that one fits him good. Oh, he's like fine, whatever. As long as I can eat. 
And I was cleaning out the barn this morning. I found all of our fly masks, got them all ready. I still need to get willow size stuff. I don't know where I'm gonna do that. It's hard to find mini size stuff. Um, but I'm taking stock and figuring out what we need for the summer. I definitely wanna get them fly sheets. Storm did not wear one very much last year and neither did Stella. And we used a whole heck of a lot of bug spray. And bug spray, the amount of bug spray we used last year was equal to the cost of two fly blankets. So fly sheets. Right. So I think that is the route we're going to go this year. All right, that's a little big. <laughs> Still, it's like, sorry about your luck, sucker. <laughs> I think it's too long. Like, it fits the length of his body better. Maybe a little loose, actually. But big. it's a little big. Did you just say square up to a fly? Yes. Where will it be? I'm not sure. It ran into my ear. So, get, so get a fly just flew at Gabby. I will kill it. And she said square up. I will kill it. So uh, for her birthday, Gabby also got this belt. They're the It's the belt that we've been yeah, loving. Too tight now. And basically... So if I do it here, at least you, can, you got lots of room. You have to cut it. It's an adjustable belt. You have to oh, cut it. Cut it right there. I swear you could have two belts out of that thing. I called the vet today because Willow seems off still. Like she's fine. She's not she having. She never ever runs away with this. She's not having any other symptoms like she was the other day. Oh. Um, mom, can I? Get but she off? seems off. Will she wants it. Yeah. She never ever runs away when I have this halter in my hands. It's weird. I swear. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, it's just a feeling. Like, I swear, I think she has ulcers. <laughs> She's like, get me that apple. Hey, okay, that's a But I've been like, I've been watching about, like, I've been watching a lot of videos from vets and stuff on ulcers. Kind of gave the rest. <laughs> You're such a big. Yes. She seems fine, totally, but I don't know. I have a nagging doubt just because all of the things that, that happened when Willow was sick the other day Hi. are really, really similar to what happened. <laughs> oh my gosh, that face. Eat. She's like, get me that right out of your mouth. Willow's the kind of horse that would take the food right out of your mouth. <laughs> you guys all just shared one apple. Like, come on now. Anyway, so... When she did that little tiny um, gas colic, they called it, she, a couple days before or the day before, she was under a lot of stress and then it happened and I don't know, I just, I watched the channel Versatile Horsemanship. Do you guys follow that? I don't know. Do you guys follow Versatile um, Horsemanship? She had a horse, a miniature named Rosie and that and um, she acted exactly like Willow and she kept on doing it for like five days and finally they took her to the clinic and at the clinic they ascertained that she had ulcers and that was what the problem was and uh, Willow is identical to what Rosie was. Do you, like, you have any apples? You know she's healthy when she's kissing. Actually if she does have ulcers you're not supposed to give her carbohydrates so don't give her any more apples. Okay. Look at Stella, she still has the teeth. All right, say goodbye to your boyfriend. When we come back, we'll be bringing you another boyfriend. You're gonna have two boyfriends. Or maybe you're gonna have a boyfriend. I hope you like Storm Willow. I don't know how to explain it. I always believe that God gives you signs. And I know not everybody believes in God. Some of you believe in the universe, and some of you guys don't believe in God or the universe. And you might believe in something else. But for me, I believe in God. And I always believe that he gives me signs to tell me stuff and for the last week I've had like the worst of bellyache I feel like I have like a bloat like I never get bloated I never have a bellyache but every time I eat something I just feel awful I feel a be bad at bellyache it's like I have empathy pains like I feel like Willow maybe has a bellyache and I have a bellyache which sounds so stupid but do you guys remember when we first got Stella last summer um, do you guys remember what happened? We went to get Stella and they had, Barrier had chopped her feet off. Chopped them right off. Her feet were so short and she was essentially walking on her tippy toes to try and get off away from the pain. And the whole entire summer as Stella was healing her feet, 
I had a sore, I had a hurt, hurt foot the whole entire time. Like <laughs> I hurt my foot and yeah, Stella had a hurt time. foot. And then it just finally went away recently. And now I feel like Stella is finally in a good place too. So I don't know. I'm either too emotionally attached to my horses or I'm crazy. Packing up. Look at all these whips she has. That's not good. <laughs> that was nervous eating if I ever saw it. Girls have gone to say goodbye to Kaylee because for the last seven months we've been at this barn together, a team with her. Tex and Storm have been best friends. Even though they're not in the same field right now, they still, Storm loves Tex. It's just bittersweet. Like we're taking our horse home and he's gonna be our horse now. And only good things are gonna come. But yeah, we're saying goodbye and saying goodbye is a really hard thing. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.